Again, as a reminder, if you guys want to make an intro for us for Fan Friday, you can post it as a video response to this video, or post a link to the video on our Facebook wall, and we may pick your video. On to some questions. Amy says, my husky has been shedding like crazy for the past few weeks. Well, when will his winter coat finally be gone? He looks so skinny with no fur. Shiloh and Shelby are really blowing their coats pretty bad right now too. Oakley got groomed, so hers isn't too bad. But you can tell Shiloh looks really skinny without all her fluffy fur too. Of course, I guess she always looks really skinny. Um, coat blowing usually lasts two to three weeks. Um, you can probably get it over a little bit sooner if you brush every single day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say about two to three weeks. Two to three weeks is about how long it takes for them to blow out their coats completely. Kara wants to know, would huskies be fine in an apartment if I take them out every day, like going for walks or to the park or something? Oakley was an apartment dog. Um, the people that had her had her in an apartment and uh, she did okay. The biggest problem was is they didn't have a lot of time to take her out for walks and to give her the exercise she needed. Plus, you guys don't know this so much yet, but Oakley's loud. Um, and I can imagine that she probably was loud in the apartment too. What do you guys think? So huskies can live in apartments, but you're going to have to be careful with the noise they can make and the amount of exercise. You just have to make sure that they get the right amount of exercise if they don't have their own yard to play in. Lindsay wants to know, what is your dog's favorite food? My husky loves cucumber. Shiloh's favorite special food, I guess, would be sucker. Well, excuse you, would probably be suckers. Shiloh likes suckers. One of these days I'll have to show you guys how she eats a sucker. Of course, we don't just give it to her and let her eat the stick and all that. We have to hold it, but it's pretty funny. Shelby likes pop ice. If, whenever Jamie tries to eat a pop ice, Shelby will sit there and beg for pieces of pop ice. And cereal. She likes cereal, too. Oakley seems to pretty much eat everything so far. I don't think there's anything that she's tried that... She hasn't eaten. You just like food, don't you, Oakley? Can't you tell? She's a little wider than the rest of them. She just likes food. Anne Marie says, how can I stop my husky from digging in the yard? I have mini canyons forming all over. Um, you guys have seen videos in the past that we've shown you where Shelby and now Oakley like to dig in the yard. Um, the best thing we've done, and this is going to sound really gross, but if you take the dog's poop and put it in the hole that they dug, that usually will stop them from digging in that place. It won't stop them from digging, but it'll stop them from digging in that hole. And eventually you can kind of train them to dig in one area. That would be my best suggestion because huskies like to dig, unless you're Shiloh. And if you're Shiloh, you just like to look adorable on the couch with your paws crossed. You really just have to be the cutest of all of them, don't you? <laughs> but that would be what I would try. Try putting their own poop in the hole and then at least they won't dig in that hole anymore. Right? It works for Shelby and Oakley anyway. Cameron wants to know, what made you want a husky of all the other breeds? Um, Shiloh did. We had actually looked at Shiba Inus before we found Shiloh when uh, she came into the store and we just kind of fell in love with her and did a little bit of research on the breed and she was perfect for us. So it's all Shiloh's fault. It's all your fault, right Shy? That we have huskies? Oh, I'm sorry, Shelby. It can be your fault too. You want it to be your fault too? Huh? You want it to be your fault too? Okay, it's your fault too. What about you, Oakley? You want it to be your fault too? Alright, we'll blame you a little bit too. Alright. You all get a little bit of blame. What? Why are you crying? It's not sad. It don't have to be sad. Just think, Shelby. I know, it's nice to meet you. Just think, if it wasn't for Shiloh, we wouldn't have you. And we wouldn't have you. So it's all your fault. Don't snort at me. What is wrong with you? You're crazy. Crazy. She's crazy. Just tell her. See, she's nuts. In the mail today, we got this drawing from Pink Dog 48. It's a drawing of Oakley. And we also got this drawing in our email. Another drawing of Oakley. We really like it when you guys send us drawings and pictures and letters and stuff of the dogs. I've been trying to make sure to take pictures of and keep copies of, well I mean I keep them all anyway, but to take pictures of the drawings and things that you send us to share on our Facebook page so everybody can see them. Right? We like that stuff, don't we? Um, if you guys missed it, be sure to check out our previous video. It is of all three girls going on an Easter egg hunt in the backyard and it was Oakley's first Easter 
first Easter here, so first time she got to see what it was like to open up Easter eggs. Shiloh and Shelby have done that before. They're like professionals. Shiloh's the best at it. Oh, we did pretty good though. So be sure to go check out that video. Um, we might put up a video on Easter, maybe, maybe not. If not, we hope you guys have a happy Easter and we'll see you on Monday. Say goodbye. Goodbye from Oakley and goodbye from Shiloh and goodbye from Shelby. Don't forget, if you guys would like to send us anything in the mail, our P.O. Box address is Gone to the Snow Dogs, P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan, 49707. And if you have questions for Fan Friday, you can leave them on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page, which are listed on the screen. Thanks for watching, you guys. Shine,